Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan. And uh well uh, still uh working on my game. Um I think today I'll be probably I think today I'll be spending time uh reading a little more of my John Truby book. I mean that thing is really dense, but it's obviously worth it. So I'm definitely gonna have to reread that book and doing a highlights. Like, you know, highlighting the text. And then, like, I don't know, I'm going to definitely be re probably rereading it several times because it's basically a really dense instruction manual. There's actually some concepts in there where I just cannot figure out what the hell's going on. That's because I'm probably suffering from information overload. So, because I really need to get this game out. So, I'm going to add one more dialogue, um, hire the actress, and then uh, after that, I do the save function and then we release. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll. I see what happens from there. I'll go from there. Because um, <clears throat> as much as I want to work on my second game, the problem is Unity is still coming out with their new engine. So there is an incentive for me to also kind of wait that out and then let the city building kit guys update their engine or create a new engine just for the new Unity engine. And then it'll just be like so much better. You basically have like a PC type quality game on your mobile phone because the new engine is that much better on Unity. So uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Anyway, I did absolutely no research yet because I was managing all my EverQuest stuff, setting up my uh, guys and their camp spots and all that other fun stuff. Uh, but everything looks pretty good. So um, let's see. Uh, so searches have tanked to nine interest this week. So that's not surprising. Uh, Bitcoin's down a little bit. Now it's at 10,400. It's basically just kind of just taking a nap. Litecoin also is doing the same thing, 44 bucks essentially. Very, very annoying. And Doggy Coin is, I swear that this thing never updates, but it's constantly giving me the same number, 354 million market cap. But Doggy Coin's been extremely stable, so that's that's very good. Uh, let's see, so it looks like futures are down. Yeah, I mean, the problem is the Democrats are deliberately tanking the economy. So, I mean, you know, it's not going to get better until the election. And then even then we still have to wait a couple of months for them to get kicked out. And that's assuming the Democrats that get voted out are going to leave. Right. You know, they could actually just say, no, we don't respect the results where I'm going to stay. So, um. That's going to be uh, interesting. The good news is Trump is going full America first mode. So uh, according to Nick Fuentes, he says his inside guys that have direct access to Trump or something like or something clo very close to that at minimum uh, are definitely on board with true America first. So it's definitely having an impact. Uh, and Trump kind of already has te uh, personal testing data, too, because he went all the woke bullshit his words, uh, Jared Kushner's woke bullshit, and he saw his numbers just kept tanking. He's like, okay, what the hell? And of course, he had that humiliating Tulsa, Oklahoma rally where it's like, what, like, he was like, what the fuck? Why is there no one here? <laughs> you know, his expectations were millions of people, essentially, and overflow crowds, right? Because that's what he's used to. And then he gets the complete opposite. And he's like, what the hell is this? All right. You know, because that's something you cannot lie. All right. Even Trump's going to have to, like, really face the music on that one. All right, so Rebel tanked. Well, that sucks because, you know, I bought it at, like, 396 Could have bought it for cheaper today. Uh, but four hours, it's up seven cents. So, yeah. All right. Well, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty crappy for a while. U.S. colleges saw fewer undergrads enroll this fall amid coronavirus. I actually do want to read that because uh these piece of garbage these asshole colleges are are a big part of why we're suffering like it's just the big global h word you know shit lip stuff so i'm glad they're all like getting bitten in the ass you know for their antics jfc dropped to five to six uh it's actually pretty uh it looks like they're gonna go back to being volatile a lot of buys at six and seven especially though is this from yeah this is actually from today wow yeah so still a lot of people buying a lot all right, so it's basically at six to seven. 404 is pretty stable, 35 to 76 Satoshis, not too bad. Two by two, nine to 10. Uh, yeah, not really much happening. So you can actually probably wait it out and get 11. Bricks is at 18 and 19, so yeah, not doing uh, not doing too great. 
100 coin, uh, not too much happening here. It's a little bit of buying, but I guess everyone's kind of exhausted from like having like literally $5,400 worth of trade value. But luckily, it's not going down too much either. So, uh, I mean, basically, I set the because I didn't know when the hell they were going to get to my request, and they actually got to it pretty fast. And it looks like Crex hired someone different, uh, or at least someone different would responded to me uh, this time around. So, which is great. Uh, so, but you know, the thing start the contest starts on Monday, so you know it's going to be quiet. We're going into a weekend as well, so speed coins still at five ninety to seven sixty. It's starting to improve a little bit. Actually, it's starting to improve a lot because now I'm seeing buying uh, activity. But I still have to get the uh, staking pool up and running. Uh, until that happens, um, well, I mean, that's just uh, it's just going to be slow going for speed coin, but it'll definitely be way better than one hundred coin. And it's going to be like, and 100 coins are already doing great. Uh, so, you know, I'm still learning, still trying to figure out how to do all this stuff. I'm still trying to figure out how to get marketing for free without really marketing because it's just impossible to pay to pay for marketing. It, it's just it's just not possible. Well, which is why creating software is actually pretty important. Uh, nothing new here. Um, before we look at the headlines of Cointelegraph. So I didn't really bother looking at this. I did lo uh, look at this a little bit, I think. Let's see. Uh, Law and order, blah, 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 blah. And then he's just tweeting a bunch of people running for congressional seats or something like that. So, yeah, so now that basically cops... I mean, the problem is cops have no real accountability. So now what's happening is uh, people are just going to start going vigilante mode. So that's why they're shooting up cops. Oh, you don't want to prosecute the cops that killed Brianna. All right, well, you know, we're going to wind up killing the cops then, you know, and then... Uh, this actually is actually kind of a problem, right? Um, because I know from history that yeah, if you don't have justice, that's Probably. exactly that's exactly what people are going to do. They're going to go guerrilla warfare, and that's what's actually happening. Um, what you call it? And that's the thing. I don't think conservatives actually understand this at all. They're still backing the cops, which doesn't surprise me. But uh, this is what happens when you don't have empathy. Right? Or sympathy, I think. I mean, that's actually, because now that I'm reading the John Truby book, he actually made a distinction between empathy and sympathy. Empathy is when you just understand a person, but you may not like what they do. In fact, you may hate what they do, but you understand why they do it. That's empathy. Sympathy is when you actually like the person. And I assume that also implies you understand what they're doing, I think. Uh, again, that's why uh, I'm getting confused. And the problem is, I always thought you liked, in general, what they're doing. Especially with the way liberals are using the word empathy, too. So that's actually causing more confusion. Uh, like, I could definitely understand see why God had me, you know, go down this particular path. Because there's a lot of confusion. So now that we got pe now that we have basically black people and bushing cops, and then, yeah, it's like, you know, now I'm going to get a little more worried. Because what if, what if I'm just walking by, I don't even see a cop, and then he just thinks I'm going to shoot him, and he just shoots me... <laughs> Just, just for walking by him, or you know, I reach into my pocket because my, I check my cell phone or something. Like this is a really bad situation. Uh, so I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, standard blockchain. Uh, VCS review process standard blockchain gaming features. What? Uh, no. European Community adopts stage five for crypto. A blockchain. That sounds pretty big. Uh, okay. Bitcoin's price for it is now 70k. Okay. I'm so annoyed that people still, like, like, oh, God. Russian ministry proposed criminal for failure to report crypto tax. Well, that makes sense, because in the United States, it's the same, it's the exact same thing, so. Biden has said, we would prove me wrong. D5 full of bubbles. Huh. Data kind is a dystopian nightmare. Yeah, because what's different about this particular revolution as opposed to like the previous revolutions is this one is specifically designed to be decentralized. So the entire so people actually are in control. There's no central authority. At least not yet. And what's interesting is it's very hard to create Facebook. It's very hard to create Twitter. It's very hard to create Amazon, right? So that's why centralization of power is still a problem in a, in, on the internet because it's just so hard. Very few people, you know, can do the programming required to take advantage of like you know all the good, good uh, goodies on the internet. 
that's why that's that's why Silicon Valley is what it is today. And basically, they're they're in control. They're they're a big part of like the censorship and all that shit. Now, what's different about crypto is it's a lot easier for people to do copy and paste and do their own thing. So power is actually uh, is distributed to basically any, any any idiot that knows how to read email, right? All right, like look what I did, right? I just simply ha hired a really cheap programmer that just does this for a living and pumped out 100 coin and speed coin. Now I have just as much power as say Litecoin, you know, minus, you know, the age, the reputation and um, the, 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 the marketing, the free marketing essentially. But the fact that I could still do it in the first place, it's like, imagine what would have happened if when Facebook and Twitter were doing their own thing, right? You know, they were back in the 2006 to 2008, right? They were making their little platforms. Well, what were to happen around that exact same time, people were able to just simply copy the source code for Facebook and make their own version of Facebook. What if people could copy the source code for Twitter and do their own little Twitter, right? Then all of a sudden, you know, you wouldn't have this monopoly problem. So uh, it, it, that, that's why it's actually going to be different uh, this time. Not in terms of like, oh, the, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's different. Therefore, the, the value is going to be infinite. No, that's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to the the different as in the distribution of actual power. So it's uh, it's definitely actually different, and it's actually a good thing, especially considering what's going on these days. All right, well, I kind of want to do my own thing. I want to get back to doing some work, read, because uh, I'm really pushing myself hard because I really want to try to you know get my game out. So you know it's taking forever, um, you know. As because you know, I always figure I can always just patch the game and add more content while the game's released. And by then, I'll already know. Okay, are people interested? Is the marketing campaign on Facebook working? Blah 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 blah. Are people actually going? Hey, I like your store. Or hey, you know, blah, you know, I like this or that. <clears throat> All right. So shit. Lib colleges saw fewer undergrads enroll this fall amid coronavirus. I'm surprised people are even still enrolling in college. Uh, colleges and universities saw a 2.5% decline in undergrad enrollment this fall compared to last year. That does, that's not even that much. 2.5%? The data, which looked at 3.6 million students at 16, roughly 25 for the reveals that all college private public were hit by the declines. I don't think the declines in enrollment are surprising. Well, we see a of our sector right when you factor in COVID, a lot of students are actually made to defer enroll and make different choices. The biggest losses were felt at community colleges. Oh, that's a shame. They're actually the best ones, where enrollment is down by 7.5%. Followed by for profit colleges are down 3.8%, and public four year colleges by 0.58%. 0 0.5%. Hmm. Private non profit four year. What the? I've never heard of this. A private nonprofit? What? Okay, data specific schools are able to do the center's agreements with the center. They really like decline across all racial groups. Uh, I don't want to read all the details. Um, internationals is down by a lot of points. Blah, blah. The layer of is because of visa restriction enacted by the Trump administration. Oh. So this is actually good. So Trump's actually starving the beast. Um, I, I already forgot because I have so much crap going on in my head, but Nick Fuentes talked about the 1776 project and how, oh yeah, that's right, now I remember, like Trump said, uh, is launching a the DOJ investigation, I think Princeton or Stanford, I forgot what it was, I think it was an Ivy League, it was a big Ivy League college, we, well, like, we all know the name of it, I just don't remember the particular name, and they said, well, we are a racist university, and then J Trump's like, Oh, are you? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to cut all your funding because we don't want to fund that. So it's like all of a sudden the liberals lost all their money. So because they probably even think of it. Yeah. And, and then, of course, it goes to show, and then Nick mentions the exact same thing I always compl like to complain about. Because conservatives never like play to win, they always just bend over and take it up the ass. Right? Well, not, now we actually have someone that's actually hitting the left, just like as hard as the left hits us. And then uh, and the undertone is, you know, the conservatives are f slowly but finally figuring out that, hey, you need to uh, hit your enemy and then not try to negotiate with them. It's like that just doesn't work. Right. I mean, that, there's a reason why I don't like the Bible passage that says love your enemies, too. But I think that just means don't hate them. Right. You know, 
like conservatives have a literal interpretation They're like oh let's just try and negotiate them no they hate you so you know why don't you treat them like the traitors that they are right because they are traitors right in fact they're already rioting and randomly attacking both cops and trump supporters right with trump signs like they're actually committing violence i already retweeted something like that today like you know blm like someone just said blm and then um BLM and then uh, Biden in 2020 and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, that's a great way to convince people to vote Democrat. I'm being sarcastic, of course. So, uh, so the good news is uh, we got some good long-term stuff. Well, we still need help with the short and medium term. You know? Especially since I'm getting really annoyed with waiting on crypto to go up. But it's doing exactly what it did in 2016. So I have to keep things into perspective. More broadly, 26 uh, may likely report steep losses in Rome, Nevada, Paris saw an 11% decline. Holy cow. Sure, so, part time line degrees, and all so, uh, our primary were up 18% for 17% for generation. So, it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, online is really good. I don't know why people shit on it. Well, now they definitely can't shit on it. Uh, but there is a kind of thing that gets lost when, like, you're not in an actual classroom and meeting people. You know, I remember when I didn't know any better, I was like, hey, I want to meet all these women, too. So, in a way, it's actually pretty good because it kind of prevents, or at least, um, well, what's the word? Slows down, retards, uh, you know, not in terms of intelligence, but the actual, like, you know, retardy fire, right? You know, it, it, uh, it it's, it, it, it's, it, it, it pulls back a lot of the crap that does go on in colleges too. So, also, it'll be a lot harder for the shit libs to actually indoctrinate people too. Sort of an effort, slow career offering online only problem more than thirty million according to Davidson. Blah blah. blah. After and while the surge in four prime role was some expect given the past, the scale of the increase was surprising. But make sure it's not beefing up their online as they until this trend accelerate. For instance, I remember struck a deal at Zovio Inc. to acquire assets for uh, University of Massachusetts System Center Juno you know, as part of a private nonprofit brand and university accelerate growth online. All right, so yeah, things are definitely be different this time around. Hmm. It's gonna be kind of interesting actually. European Commission adopts digital finance package for crypto and blockchain. Europe is one step closer to getting a concrete legal framework for digital finance. Hmm. The European Commission is moving to provide more legal clarity and uncertainty for certain for crypto industry states. Ah, there we go. September 24th, the EC officially adopted a new digital finance. Okay, you just said that. The EC said that the new package is the first time the authority proposed new online crypto assets. Uh, to stable coins. So that's why they've been bitching about that uh, recently. Uh, okay, but specifically, they probably need to introduce more streaming requirements for stable coin issuers, charts, capital investment rights, and okay. There are the ECA to require stable coins. So this looks like it's regulating stable coin stuff. Uh, let's see. To publish a way with manage quarter requirements. Uh, okay, so they want a white paper that's so it's very similar to like a, a prospectus, I think. Uh, they call it a white paper. Small and medium enterprises will be exempted from the publication of such a white paper where the total concern of the offering of the crypto is less than 1 million euro over a period of 12 months. Well, that means I don't have to worry about it. The exclusion makes sure that the requirements imposed on crypto asset service provider are provided risk created by the services. Hmm. Yeah, but I think this is for like centralized things. For like, even if like let's say 100 coin, you know, you know, can hope one day, uh, becomes worth like I don't know 10 million dollars in market cap. I still wouldn't have to do this because it's a decentralized coin. I, I don't have any control over it. You just go in the open market and buy and sell, or don't. You know, I, no one's in control. No one's supposed to be in control. Making rules safer. The package is not subject to the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. That was actually pretty short. All right, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button <coughs> from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. All right. Uh, wow, no loot, huh? Uh, these assholes are definitely worth a lot less money, unfortunately, for me. 
So anyway, uh, obviously I'm done for the week. Uh, I want to get back to doing some work. Uh, also, it would be nice to not have my stupid proxy on because it's actually starting to disrupt uh, my Twitch viewing and like my other stuff. All right, but I have to have it on when I know I'm going to do my videos. And then I can't turn it off because I don't want to spend like the three minutes relogging through all my characters on EverQuest. So I'm like, ugh. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your day and night and your weekend, and I will see you next Tuesday, uh, unless something big happens, of course. Um, in the meantime, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, as much as I want crypto to keep going up, but like it's doing exactly what it did in 2016. So that means there's not going to be anything until after the stupid asshole election's over. And on top of that, I believe the presidential debates are tomorrow. So let me see. First POTUS debate. It should be tomorrow. Ah, oh, come on. Now they push it to the 29th. Alright, this is actually... Like, they're literally just pushing back the stupid debate. So basically, we're just never going to have a debate. Debate list. Okay, so... Alright. Uh, what's P here? All right, so September 29th, so that's next week. Yeah, and then they're probably just going to push this back again. Because the object is, th is to just simply not have the debates. Because the left knows that Biden's just going to get completely killed by both Trump and himself. Because Biden can't even say, uh, he, like, he's in mental decline. Um, so, anyway, see you all next week. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chen, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin, and here's our thumbnail.